Hello friends, I am Dawal Kumar Surti and in this specific video I will talk about investigating media field failures. So though, though my friends who are involved in the aseptic manufacturing, injectable manufacturing, sterile product manufacturing must be aware that media field is an essential compliance part of the industry and we have to perform periodic media fields. And sometimes I pray to God nobody has to face the media field failure but sometimes we had a media field failure. And it is a very important investigation. If, if we have media field failure, then it is very, very critical investigation. And it takes lots of effort, knowledge and experience to conclude a media failure investigation. So in this specific video, I will share some of my thoughts, how we can effectively investigate media field failure. Hope it will be helpful. And if you like, you can subscribe to my channel. So I will in this specific video I will talk about the gross failure which you are observing. So what happens if you if you, you, you manufacture media you filter it and next day you observe that it is filled into the vessel itself into the sterile holding vessel itself the media has been filled or if you start filling and after certain time of filling you observe that the media is already contaminated. So how we can overcome such a gross failures? so that it will not impact or it will save my time, efforts and uh, uh, resources which are gone into the media field. So with respect to the holding vessel or the sterile holding vessel where we are filtering the media and storing, the main reasons which leads to the failure, some of them are the gaskets. If the gaskets are not totally integral, it will pass into the leak test, but if, if we are not checking frequently the gasket, then by the time the gasket starts to rupture and it may not provide the adequate leak proof sealing and there are many gaskets into the system so that we have gaskets for the view glasses, gasket for the joints, gasket into the process piping, gaskets into your uh, this uh, nitrogen purging tubing, gaskets where your uh, inlet is there. So everywhere we are using gaskets. So the gasket should be checked periodically, there should be a replacement frequency for the gasket and before media you must ensure that all your gaskets are intact, integral and there are no damages, that is one reason. Second, we are having so many connections onto the tank, so many connections, if clamp is not properly tightened, if there are so many blanks, which blinds we can call, which are not properly connected. View glass, see we don't open, open the view glass. View glass is for viewing inside what's inside the tank, but we are not frequently opening the view glass. So that connection, that view glass connection may not be the integral every time. So you have to ensure all your connections within the vessel, in the vessels, so that they are intact, integral and will not provide any leakage, will not lead to any leakages during the media field. So this is one. Second thing is, the inside surface or inner surface cleaning of the sterile vessels. So many times you observe that we stick some tapes, the autoclave of the sterilization tapes inside and that should not be done but sometimes some people due to lack of awareness, lack of, they, they for the sterilization validation they use tapes to either to stick biological indicators or the sensors and what happens this tapes may not be removed completely and the, it is sometimes in such a location that it will not be easily visible. So before you go for a media field, inspect your vessel thoroughly from inside that there is no contamination, no glue, no tapes which are there. Thoroughly clean them so that uh, one will say we are doing SIP, yes we are doing the SIP but this contamination will provide a micro crevices which is micron size crevices which will protect microorganisms during the SIP process. They, they can provide sheath or covering so that your SIP cycle may not kill those microorganisms and can lead to growth during your media field and can lead to gross failure. So you have to thoroughly inspect your vessel from inside before you go for media field and this process should be for the routine also. So we are we are not uh, we should not be very cautious during the media field and we should not be very relaxed during our commercial production. Commercial production is our business and we have to be very focused. Same same attention during the media field and same attention should be provided to the commercial production also. So inspect the vessel. There should be frequent checking. 
you can uh, maybe three months maybe six months you can inspect all your vessel from inside your cleaning program should ensure that there is there is a daily check or check after every cycle every cleaning cycle so that there is no contamination no rough surfaces no glue within the tank which can lead to either media fill failure or product contamination that is the second reason third reason is for the gross failure is your assembling itself so we know for the sterile manufacturing we have to put filling assembly which will fill the product into the vial or ampules or pre-fill sealage whatever you are a filling line is for that purpose so if you are not doing the assembling proper and it starts from the sterilization itself if your assembly is not properly wrapped not properly sterilized into the autoclave that is one secondly if you transfer your assembly during after unloading from the autoclave you transfer through mobile laminar airflow unit to your filling machine if during that transfer if it is not kept continuously under grade a then what will happen it can have contamination on the upper surface of the wrapping and ultimately it can land into the your final uh, filling assembly needles or tubings and can contaminate media so your sterilization your wrapping your transfer should be very <coughs> thorough should be validated to smoke studies also so that you can be sure that there is continuous laminar air airflow or grade a air provided to the your filling assembly and while you are assembling the thing it should be validated process it should be thoroughly verified through smoke studies so that this entire process is not creating a aseptic intervention which can lead to your contamination into your filling assembly so th these are the three important point one is your connection aseptic connection gaskets view glass everything we have to check second point is your inner surface of the sterile holding vessel and third point is your assembling process assembly sterilization wrapping and assembling process it should be very thorough validated through smoke studies verified and then only you should go for media fill if you are not sure of this thing you should first be sure and then only go for media fill because once it is a media fill failure then it will be a very long investigation and it we have to put your manpower resources and most importantly time you will delay your activities to investigate media fill failure and again to repeat it so hope this will be helpful to you thank you thank you for watching my video